Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to see how you can add or insert current date and time in your automation workflow. So there are times when you have captured the response and the response doesn't provide you the date and time of the response received. In such a case, we are going to use certain functions with the help of which you can receive the current date and time without any hassle. So let's say that here I have captured the webhook response using this feature by Pabli, which is webhook. And here I have received the following data. Let's say that I have received the details of a new lead. So these are the details that I have received. First name, last name, email address and mobile number. Now what do I want? I want this information to be embedded in my Google Sheet. Now let's say that while adding these details to my Google Sheet, I also want to add the date and time of the response received. Now to do this, I have got certain functions. Let me show you the same. So these are the quick functions to add date and time in different formats. So first we have this format, which is going to add the date and time in UTC time zone. Now UTC time zone, let's say if I am in India, so it is five and a half hours ahead of the local time zone. So it is going to provide you date and time in this format. Then we have the local human now format. Here the function will output the current time in your local time zone. So here it is going to show you the current time in your local time zone in this particular format. Then we have the timestamp format. Now there are a lot of applications that ask for timestamp format. In such a case, you can use this particular function. So it is going to provide you the current time in timestamp UTC time zone format. So which is going to look something like this. And then we have the local timestamp now. So this format will output the current time in your local time zone as per this timestamp format. So it is going to look something like this. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to look for the application Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And the action event here will be add new row. Here I'm going to click on connect. And as I do that, Pabli Connect here wants to connect with Google Sheets account. Let's select add new connection since we are setting up this connection for the first time. Here I'm going to click on sign in with Google. You can see that I'm asked to choose an account with which my spreadsheet is linked. So I have done the same. And now Pabli Connect Sheets wants to access my Google account. So here I'm going to click on allow as this is absolutely secure. And we can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Pabli Connect and Google Sheets are now properly connected. Once this connection is set, here we have to fill in this information. First of all, we have to select the spreadsheet. So this is the spreadsheet that I have created. The name is new leads. And here I have got the following fields, first name, last name, email address, contact number. Then I've got four different fields to add the time in different formats, just like I've shown you. So now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to select the sheet which is new leads. And here you can see since there was only one sheet, so the system has already selected the same. Now let's fill up this information. So first of all, we need the first name. So as I click on this, you can see the previous step here. Let's click on this and this here is the first name. Now this method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And this means that I already had this information in the previous step and I'm just going to retrieve it here. Now, why is this important? Now, this is important so that every time you receive a new response, then that response can be taken into consideration. Had I returned this information manually, in that case, it would have become static, which means that now, even when you had received some new response, it wouldn't have taken that. Instead, it would have been stuck with the manually written data. So to avoid that, we map the information. So we are going to repeat the process to capture the last name. Then we need the email address and then we need the contact number. And now here we have to enter the functions time UTC zone. So this here is the time UTC zone function. So I'm going to copy this, go back here, paste the same. Then we need the time local time zone. So this here is the local time zone. I'm going to copy this, paste the same here. Next, we need the UTC zone in timestamp format. So this here is our function. I'm going to copy this, paste the same here. And finally, we need the PC local timestamp. Now this function, I'm going to copy this once again and paste the same here. And now let's click on save and send test request. So as we do that, here we have received the response, which means that now the information must be embedded in our Google Sheet. 
So here you can see we have received the response. This here is the first name. Then we have the last name, email address, contact number. Then we have received the time in UTC zone, local time zone, UTC zone in timestamp format and local time zone in timestamp format. Now I'm going to take you back to Pavli Connect. So here we can see that this was an extremely easy and helpful way to add or insert current date and time in your automation workflow. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. I'm going to share the following functions in the description box as well. I hope this video was useful. If in case you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.